I've wanted to incorporate my culture in my music since the beginning of time, and I've always, always dreamt of doing it the right way. My name is Abir. I am a singer-songwriter from Fes, Morocco, and I am so excited to tell you about my new EP, Heat. Heat really means everything to me. It's something that I've always dreamt of doing, bringing who I am into my music, bringing my culture, my Moroccan heritage into the music. When I made this record, I really just wanted to focus on being so authentic and raw about how I feel and what I love and what I want to hear, what melodies I want to hear, what backgrounds I want to hear, what stories I want to tell. And it was important for me to take control of that narrative because I feel like as an Arab woman and if I'm repping being an Arab woman, being Moroccan, being Muslim, I need to be me. I don't need to, you know, try to conform to what I think society would want from me or expect of me. I wanted the visuals to represent a strong Arab woman that I am, so that it was like a true representation of me. And the only way that I thought I could get that across coming into this and um, coming into all the visuals and everything was, why not just go to Morocco? Go to Morocco and shoot these visuals and see how it turns out. We shot both videos for my two singles off the project, Inferno and Yalla, right outside of Marrakesh, like at, in the Agafé Desert. It was just so beautiful. Morocco is a set. And I wanted an all Arab cast and crew to bring this vision to life. And we were going in. We were working like day in and day out. And when we finally got there, it was just like, it felt like such a dream. Like it felt like I had to keep pinching myself because I, I couldn't believe that I'm finally doing the thing that I've like always wanted to do. The story behind Yalla, the video. Again, strong Arab woman. And I wanted, I wanted to make sure that not just me, but the Arab woman that I put in all the videos are put in an empowering light. And there's a red room and there's a blue room. And the red room is filled with women and the blue room is filled with men. And I'm much more comfortable in the red room. I'm dancing, I'm having fun, like I'm, I'm sensual. And in the blue room, I'm much more aggressive. I can be a woman in a man's world, but it's still gonna be my world. So the actual song itself, the concept behind the record, this has now become a song about all marginalized communities and groups. And I felt like this is an anthem to be like, you know what? We're different, we're going against the grain, but whatever, let them keep talking. They can say whatever they want, let's keep writing. Some of the inspirations for the EP and really just for me in general have been like music that I grew up on. I was listening to Feirouz, Um Kiltoum. I was listening to some Moroccan music that my mom showed me. Music came into my life when I was super young because my dad owned a car service company and he had to buy and own a lot of records for his clients. So he would have jazz music, soul music, R&B music. And um, I would always be in the back seat, like you pick me up from school, walk, you know, we drive around and I'd be listening to whatever music was playing and always be trying to mimic it. Empty Once I learned my voice, I could not shut up, ever. <laughs> I signed with Atlantic Records in 2017. Everything just kind of happened really fast. I met all the right people. I, you know, got into the right circles. I just wanted someone that wouldn't change who I am as any artist would want. During my senior year, I interned at a studio in DC. Through that process, I learned so much about the business of music. And I think that was a huge part of why I was so woke about the music industry. With Atlantic Records, like they knew I was a Moroccan Muslim, you know, Arab girl singing her ass off, you know, and they wanted to champion that. They wanted to stand behind it. And I think that the music industry is ready for that, ready for, you know, people from all walks 
of the earth to come and share the music. I remember growing up wanting to be a singer and wanting to be someone that I saw on TV. And I just like felt like, oh, like maybe one day, one day, one day. And eventually that one day came and I just like took the opportunity and ran with it. But everything that happened before that day came was a lot of fighting. My biggest takeaway is no one is going to help you get there more than yourself. No one. As much as people can be supportive and your best friend and your mom and your dad, your sister, whoever, it really takes that passion inside you to drive you to do it no matter what anyone says. So I always would say start inside. Start with you. And if challenges are definitely going to pre pre present themselves, but knowing where you stand, knowing your mission, knowing your purpose and having that drive, nothing can stop you.